We hacked the scammer, took her files and found out who she is and what she looks like. Now we're gonna call her again and scare her. Okay, now I'm going to send you a request so we can track that hacker. We got it, we got it. Okay, man, minimize the screen, minimize it. Do you know who that okay, is, how, Lisa? How did you get my picture? Thank you for calling Amazon. How can I help? Hello. Hi, how are you doing today? Well, not how can too I help bad. You? Can I have your good name, first of all? My name is Lisa Smith, sir, and my employee ID is 1089, and I'm a Sumino supervisor in Amazon headquarters. How okay, can I help wonderful. you? My name is Lisa. Yeah, so I received this weird invoice, but I did not buy anything on Amazon, so I'm really confused why you guys make me pay for something I did not order. Lisa obviously doesn't work for Amazon. She's a scammer from India. These scammers send fake invoice emails to thousands of people that make it seem like you paid for something. And to cancel this order, you have to call the number in the mail. These kind of emails are known as phishing. Phishing is a threat that's becoming more popular every year. To prevent falling for this, educate yourself on phishing. Here are some tips on how to recognize phishing. Okay, let me check. May I have your good name, sir? Billy Hawk. Please give me the last four numbers of your card, which has been used for the payment, sir. My what? May I the last four numbers of your card and your email ID? 1337, and my email is billyhawk02 at gmail.com. Okay, Mr. Billy, let me tell you that my name is Lisa Smith. That's the third time she tells me her name in two minutes. So I'm telling you one thing, yeah. that if in case the call gets disconnected, if in case, the call yeah. gets disconnected. Do not call back. I will call you back. You heard my voice. You know my name is Lisa. If anybody calls you and say they are from Amazon, do not attend the call. For time. If they say this, this is Lisa, only I can call you. Okay? I'm the manager here. Never mind. Because there okay. is so many scams are going on. So I don't want anyone to listen to our conversations. Okay? Because maybe that uncompromised, the compromised people can listen to the conversations also, okay? So you better don't call back. I have your number. Uh, what? So just tell me, Mr. Billy. Oh, would you mind if I call you with your name, Billy? Will that be okay with you? Yeah, you can call me Billy. <laughs> okay, and you can call me Lisa, okay? I wouldn't have guessed. What I will do, we need to check that who ordered from your account. So I will connect you with the main server and we will check it. For that, you have to follow some step steps, okay? So we can check that and help you to get the refund also, okay? Now the scammer wants me to download AnyDesk. This software allows one to take control of another computer or smartphone. Ah, uh, I see some numbers. It says your address. What is this, Lisa? Yeah, tell me the numbers. A few moments later. See, after the security warning, look on the bottom. Do you see... Two small circles on the bottom left. Hang on, I got the Check security the warning. Check on the right, below that. Yes. Oh, accept it. Yes. Accept. The scammer now has access to our computer. And through a clever trick, we now have access into her computer too. Let's take all of her files and do some damage. Let's first go to today's sponsor. Private Internet Access. Private Internet Access is a VPN. It stands for Virtual Private Network. A VPN adds security and anonymity to users when they connect to web-based services and sites. By hiding the user's actual public IP address and encrypting the internet traffic. For example, a VPN lets you access websites that are region blocked or censored by oppressive governments. Also, when you get IP banned in video games because you're too good at them, you can change your IP and get right back into the game. <laughs> Private internet access is very easy to use. You can connect from any device to servers all over the world within seconds. By clicking my link in the description, you can get 83% off on private internet access. That's just $2.03 a month. And you also get 4 extra months completely for free. Defending your privacy is more important than ever before. So get private internet access today. Link is in the description below. Let's get back to the video. While in her computer, Trapper immediately placed a payload on her computer. Here you can see all of her files. See a timer, Amazon Prime connected. Okay, let me check. Yes. I, it says connecting to me, it's not disconnected. Yes, so, I see a timer on my screen that says connected. Now, just one thing. Yes. Uh, I want you to just go to your Amazon now. With the payload on her computer and some files obtained, it's time to end the call without suspicion. Can you hear me? Hello? I can hear 
We got her, guys! Using open source intelligence, we managed to find out who she is and what she looks like. It took a couple days, but I managed to get her on the line again. We're now gonna connect her to my computer once more, then scare her by showing her a picture of herself. Thank you for calling Amazon. How can I help you today? Yes, I received a weird info saying that I bought an iPhone, but I didn't buy anything. You said that you paid for something, right? And can I have your good name, sir? My name is Billy. And I received an invoice in my email. Okay, all right. So, just tell me, Mr. Billy, that um, how do you get to know that how you purchased an iPhone? She would have known if she would listen. And can I have your name? My name is Lisa, sir. I am manager of Amazon. What are we going to do now? Perfect. We got her. Now let's get her connected. Okay, now I'm going to send you a request so we can track that hackers, okay? I got a security warning. Okay, now look on the right. Do you see accept button where it says accept the timer is going on with the accept? She's now connected and can see my screen. Now let's pull up her picture. Okay, now, now wait, now we got it. We got it, we got it, we got it. Okay, man, minimize the screen, minimize it. Do you know who that okay, is, how, Lisa? How did you get my picture? After this call, she deleted her Facebook account. What a coincidence, isn't it? Or more accurate, disabled it for a week. This shows you that the fear doesn't last long and the greed takes over again. But don't worry, we also hurt them in the pockets by crippling their phone system with the call flutter. Sorry, but your call cannot be completed. This costs them a lot of money and is the best way of dealing with phone scammers. Also, when their phone system is down, they can't scam anyone. If you like what we do, please don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have questions or ideas, please leave a comment. If you want to report the scam, do mail us. Also, here's a couple more great videos to watch. Thanks for watching everyone.